Yes guys, what is up? Welcome to the Soul YouTube channel. I'm not going to say Supercars of London today because as you can tell behind me we have got a range of Honda motorbikes. Today is all about two wheels and it is a very exciting day. If you're new to the channel, if you've not subscribed before or you've subscribed and this is the first video you're tuning into for quite some time and you've got a few questions to be like, what the hell's going on? Well, over the last two months, I've been teaming up with Honda UK and they've been putting me through lessons and through all of the tests so that I can ride whatever motorbike I want. The idea of it is for me to share to you guys my experiences. And so far, I've gone from absolutely hating it to falling in love with having an engine between my two legs. So today, I'm gonna be selecting my motorbike that I'm gonna be driving riding for the next 12 months. Honda, as part of the deal, have allowed me to borrow a car for 12, borrow a bike for 12, for 12 months. You can see how hard it is for me to make that transition over to riding from driving. But as you can see behind me, we have got some fantastic bikes all the way from super sports down to kind of like twist and go moped style motorbikes. I don't even know where to start, so I'm going to introduce someone that does know where to start who's going to talk me through some of the pros and cons to some of the bikes that we've got here, but just showing how vast the diversity is that Honda offer to motorcyclists, and then I'm going to test drive a couple, and by the end of today, pick one that is going to be my first motorbike. Ian, welcome to the channel. Thank you for bringing me along on this insane journey. Would you like to introduce yourself to the viewers? First of all, pleasure to have you along. Um, Ian Baker, from Motorcycle PR Manager for Honda UK. Okay, excellent. And we've got eight bikes here, if I yeah. count correctly. Well Firstly, uh, can I just say this looks utterly beautiful. Yeah, that's the CBR 650R. So the same as what I rode on my Model 1 when I yeah, failed, yeah. but in satin black. Yes, that's correct. From factory. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, okay, let's not talk about that one. <laughs> what else have we got here? So obviously this one and the CB650R are the yes. two that you rode on your, on your tests. tests. Yeah, That's actually what I passed on. Is it? Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, cool. so what I was told, easier to maneuver at slow speeds because it it's more of an upright position. Slightly wider handlebars. Absolutely. Naked yes. as opposed to a super, super sport, sport naked. fire blade. Talk, talk to me about the fire. Uh, <laughs> fantastic machine, 100, weighs 195 kilos, 189 horsepower. This is ultimately is the, is the kind of the benchmark that we build upon our British Superbike Racing Series. Wow. It looks so mean, but also yeah, so scary at the same time. It's an awesome machine, it really is. And now, I'm looking at this bike here, the 500X, because it's cool, but it's got like a camo paint job to it yeah. that is actually paint, it's not a wrap. No, no, absolutely. So this is, I guess this is the, the smallest of our on-off series. So this is the CB500X. Its bigger brother is the CRF1000L Africa Twin. Uh, this has 47 horsepower. It does come in A2 license. It is an A2 license friendly bike. Okay. It's a standard. Um, and it's a great bike for people to, I guess take their license and they're wanting not one of the biggest bikes to go up with straight away but this is kind of the perfect bike for those individuals who use it every day but also want to do a bit of touring and perhaps a little bit of light off-road with the 19 inch front wheel and the long travel suspension. So let's go to the Africa Twin because yes. this is a cool paint job and I think my audience will see that it's very close to true blood when I wrapped a few of my cars in. It's a beast! It is, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> as I said earlier, it is the bigger version. So this is 1000cc, 94 okay. horsepower. Uh, high handlebars. I mean, it is a it's a great bike for taking off road. Um, Why do you have them? So they are the hand guards to a protect, had to give you wind protection, but also if you're off roading, it's oh, you so, and you don't want to kind of if you come across something, yeah. you don't want to hit it. So they're just there to protect the to protect the hands. Uh, so this one is actually a DCT model. Um, I see. Uh, so a lot of people are, are very used to getting on a bike and pulling the clutch in. With the DCT, you don't have a clutch, so, so you've got a handbrake here. I did not know that bikes come the same with cars like paddles. So has it got, it doesn't have paddles, does it? It, it does. So you have the two, you do, we call them flappy paddles here. And then you can change, so you can have it in full automatic mode. Yeah. Or you can also override it manually and then it goes back to automatic mode. Or you can go full automatic mode and just change gears by this. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like I'm sitting on top of a car. Absolutely. <laughs> I feel like somewhere in like California, this would be like a cool bike. So the previous generation of this was called the Goldwing Bagger for that exact reason. Yeah. There is a kind of custom scene in California called the Bagger scene. 
Right. Now we've we've renamed this to be the Goldwing, and then the bigger, like the slightly bigger version uh, with the top box, etc., with a pillion seat and top box, is called the Goldwing Tour. Right. So this is our a kind of adventure scooter range. So this is called okay. the XADV. This comes with DCT as standard. I really enjoy it. I think a lot of people think it's a it is a scooter because it has scooter clothing. It looks but a ultimate, bit like one. Ultimately, it's a motorcycle underneath. I think that cool because you advised me to. And because it's DCT, I'm very intrigued to experience automatic on a motorbike. And I like the look of the 500X. Cool. And if it's a baby version of the Africa Twin, which is very big yeah. and cool looking, I would quite like to test the 500X and that one. Um, I've obviously ridden and experienced the CB650R. To begin with, I didn't get on with it. I thought that the throttle response was a little bit too much and my wrists weren't ready for the sort of grueling nature that motorcyclists go through but i did get used to that really enjoyed it passed my tests on it it'll always have a place in my heart the l plates will remain on but this the cbr 650 this is what i really got yeah, yeah, used yeah. to and loved to ride but then sat in black i think color scheme is really really nice i think i know what these guys will want me to ride and it's that or that but i don't want to kill myself just yet so I'm gonna hold that one back and just keep that in my pocket yeah, yeah, and yeah. test those two. Here you go then. Oh, that wasn't a good start. Engine running. This is the first time that I have... Oh. Ridden. Oh, that, that clutch went away pretty quick this is the first time I've ridden a motorbike with no L plates on even after I passed my test I still had an L plate on <laughs> this is such an upright position and this has apparently got like this loose or a looser clutch or a lighter clutch Oh, nice from the from the lorry. Okay, my mirrors are getting there now. Oh, is that an M5? Yes, it is. Off we go then. Oh, you can get a bit of a lean on because you're so upright. The whole bike leans when you go around the corner. We've not got much fuel, so our first stop is to the petrol station. I have to say that the 500X is a beautiful looking bike. Really, really, really cool design. It has been redesigned, I think for 2019, Ian was saying off camera. And it is a cool looking thing with all of the camo here. And uh, yeah, so far I'm enjoying it. I don't think I'm gonna be going for anything quite like this. But I do want to try the DCT, I want to try automatic, so I'm going to have a go at that, but first I'm riding this. I need to take into consideration that this is 500, but what I was learning of was 650. So that's something to play on my mind for 12 months. Is 500 going to be enough? Eight, nine months down the line when we get back to summer and I'm going to be hooning around the country roads. Maybe I need to go for something a little bit more. We will play around, we'll see just how powerful the 500 is, and then have a go on the 700, and then maybe find something in between. Right, how do I do this? Oh, I look like an absolute novice. This is a much heavier bike. Apparently around 240, but it's the seating position, the seat is incredibly wide. Um, I've got my feet facing forwards and you can see here sport driver neutral so I'm going to be using drive and then no clutch just go yep I'm going oh 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 my god this is so weird so weird oh my god my feet are so far forward oh wow This is bizarre. Oh, there's the gears. And I'm away. Oh my 
my god. Oh, this is so bizarre. I just feel like I'm sat in an armchair doing 40 miles an hour. It's super comfy, much more comfy than the bike in front, but also more comfy uh, than the um, CB and CBR 650s that I was doing whilst I was doing my test. We've made it back. That was an experience because coming from CBT, I've got such little experience that I felt like a kid, like it's such a novelty yeah, yeah, yeah. to just be able to go and, and ride on motorbikes with no learner plates. Like, because that was my first time ever yeah, for sure. without having those L plates on. So I felt like it was, it was a really, really cool sense of freedom, super comfortable and slightly more upright riding style yeah. Yeah, yeah so you get hit by the wind a little bit but obviously you've got that the one thing that i can't get my head around or out of is riding the cb and the cbr with the quick shifter yeah, is yeah. having to do the 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 clutch all of the time which then leads me on to this bike which has a dct and you've since told me that you can only get dct on a honda yes absolutely yeah that it's a one unique, it's a that is cool. one unique selling point. That is so cool. And I have to say, if I was going to be riding a motorbike every single day and using yeah, yeah. it as a commuter, yeah, yeah. why the bloody hell would you want to do this every single time? Absolutely. Think of the amount of thousands of times you do that on, yeah. every, on every journey. Yeah. So this makes total sense if this was going to be my mode of transport getting to and from work. But because this is going to be like of course. a fun, addition to my garage i'm gonna flip the camera around because i feel like this is like where i've started to work out my decision in the future that surely the future is a fire blade <laughs> with no but with a dct gearbox well yeah that would be like a formula one car yeah, yeah that would yeah. literally be like a formula one car uh but what i kind of summarized on this one was because this is going to be a 12 month thing I don't want to jump onto something that's 500 and get nine months in with load of riding experience and yeah, be like, yeah, sure. I want a little bit more. Yeah. But then obviously 700 and 1,000? Well, 1,000 cc, yeah, for sure. 1.8 liter. <laughs> definitely. Not the, it, it makes me lean towards the 650s. And when I walked in and saw this, I fell in love with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lovely looking machine. So this is the Supersport CBR 650R. Yep. If I was to say, I want one of them, would you be happy with that? That sounds like a very loaded question, Mr. Wallace. Very loaded indeed. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I don't, I, I literally. No, no, I think this would be a really good choice. It's, you know, it's, the, it's, the, it's a really, really popular and successful bike for us for both, you know, current and existing riders, but also new riders. Because yeah. obviously you can, obviously the, the younger individuals, this can be restricted to A2 license. Okay. So they can start on this and then when they take their full license at the age of 24, they then can de-restrict it and then it becomes obviously it's 94 horsepower. Okay. Obviously you're probably slightly older than 24. <laughs> uh, and now done your... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, and now done your uh, full license. I think this is a this is a a, a really good all round bike for you for sure, and it will allow you to learn as you develop as well. I think w being able to test that and thinking that is really cool, and I would venture I think to an African twin because I would love the yeah, idea for sure, for sure. of doing a massive off road tour. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be really really cool, yeah, yeah. and then to experience the DCT world which is exclusive to Honda, which I think is really, really cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is also something that makes a lot of sense in someone's life, mm. not necessarily mine when I'm eyeing this up. Mm. But then if you were to tell me you can get that in DCT, it's got the quick shift, which is great. Which kind of, in a way, kind of serves a very similar Exactly. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Cool. Yeah. This is cool. this is so cool, and this is like this was definitely the sort of the sweet part of the deal. Learning yeah, and sure. doing something totally different was a challenge, both mentally and physically. And I slept so much after my CBT. I was yeah, just like, yeah. oh my god, I'm so tired. And then doing all of the tests and stuff was stressful, and there was a hell of a lot of pressure. But now that I am able to go and freely ride wherever I want, and I've got the bike to do it in, thanks to Honda. That is just, that is just so, so ridiculous. Um, thank you very much, Ian. Massive thumbs up. 
to the guys at Honda. This is just a small selection of the range. How many bikes do you have on your range before we go? Over 60. Over 60? Because of course we go from scooters to off-road bikes, out and out off-road bikes, which are CRFs. Yeah. Um, we have some, some Montessa bikes for Charles riding and of course all of this and many, many more. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, even if I was ever to think that this wasn't doing it for me, then I can always just come and just sort of rum, 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 go and do something else. Um, <laughs> have you ever seen anyone do that before? <laughs> On a media drive? Rum, rum, rum. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the beginning of the video, I was calling it driving motorbikes. <laughs> you're, you're, you're learning. You're learning. <laughs> I've got a long way to go. But ladies and gentlemen, there we go. That is me test riding a bunch of Hondas and selecting the CBR 650R as my first motorbike. Let me know in the comments whether you think I've made the right decision. I definitely think I have. And that specification in the satin black with the red details, we've got like red tire lips as well. That is a seriously cool bike. And one day, I'm sure, one day I will move up to the Fireblade for those that want to see the ultimate ultimate when it comes to Honda motorcycles but Ian thank you so much for today Pleasure. it has been so much fun the weather has been amazing I've you've been yeah. say that again I've booked that you've booked the weather <laughs> <laughs> right guys thank you very much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this video and stay tuned for this insane journey because it is now just beginning I'll see you soon take care goodbye bye bye <laughs>